Hello and welcome to a special edition of Lorefent Gaming Videos. I'm your host Lorefent and today's special edition video we're going to ask the burning question and answer it. Why play the Witcher series while waiting for season 2 of The Witcher to return to Netflix? As always like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more special content like this and do not forget to hit that notification bell to be updated my videos and more. So you watched The Witcher series season 1 and you felt like it was a wonderful and great series to watch and you want more. And guess what the bad news is? Season 2 coming soon in 2021. Yeah, that is the bad news despite the fact it got released in 2019. A great and wonderful series with a star-studded cast and more. So now you're wondering, what should I do? What do I need to do? Well, besides the wonderful books, let's talk about the three main games and why you should get each of them. So let's start out with the very first game, shall we? First of all, let's talk about The Witcher, this PC exclusive game. It was released in 2007 by CD Projekt Red, and then it got itself an enhanced edition in 2008. And let me tell you, they did a great job of this game. It was the billing blocks for this developer right here, and it brought some moments in this game, including the Striga. Yeah, you watching the beginning of this uh, cutscene of the game is the Striga versus Geralt right here. This game was wonderful and neat. So what we're going to do right now is I'm going to talk about more of the mechanics and more stuff in this game here. So let's do this now. Now the game engine itself is the Aurora engine. Now if you do not know what the Aurora engine then I'm going to show everybody a clip of another game I've been using on my channel. You see Neverwinter Nights right here, it used the Aurora engine. Now the developers back in the day used a modified version of the Aurora engine. And let me tell you, they did a great and wonderful job. So let's go back to the uh, clip right now there you go and you need to time your blows for combat like I am doing also you have to select one sign in order to use it and overall it's pretty good though it's more isometric than the uh, other two modern games but still it's a great and wonderful uh, start for the first game and plus the developers were starting out so this was like a nice bonus let's talk about more Let's quickly talk about the story. It is amazing and very good. It brings you into the Witcher world. The developers back in the day did a wonderful job of that, slowly introducing certain characters. You might not see certain ones from the series, but still, the latter games will definitely show that off. Let's talk about more of the activities in the game. The activities in the game includes fist fighting and poker dice, plus you do side quests, monster hunts. Oh yes, you do hunt monsters in the game. And more. Also, your choices in this game does matter. So, whatever choice you make will definitely be carry over some of the important choices. So, make good choices. Overall, this game started out great. And I'm going to say this right now. The developers did a wonderful job of using the Aurora engine, modifying to their own needs. And it's a great and wonderful game. So, let's talk about the second game, shall we? After the success of the first Witcher game, CD Projekt Red has released The Witcher 2 Assassination of Kings. This original version was released in 2011, then a year later the Enhanced Edition got released in 2012. Let me tell you, it blew my mind away with the improvements. Now, good news is not only it was on the PC, it was also released at the time on the Xbox 360. Now here's the thing also for those Xbox 360 owners who also now has an Xbox One. It is fully backwards compatible and is a great and wonderful game. So let's talk about more aspects of this game right here, shall we? Let's talk about the story. Oh my goodness. The developers definitely improved on this story. It is great and wonderful. There are some key choices you will have to make in this game that's very important. Now here is the great news about your character files from the PC version of the first game to the second game. Some of your choices got ported over and you got some rewards for just playing the first game which is very neat. We're going to talk about more of this game so let's do this now. Now let's talk about the mini game shall we? In the first game was dice poker and of course fist fighting. Those are back. However, they added a new mini game which is arm wrestling. Now object of that is just keep on moving the uh where called the circle in the center of the bar right here and get to your side so you can win. There are many neat options including side quests, hunts, and more. This game has so many options like the first game, they improve on it vastly. So let's talk about combat, also movement. Now in the first game was more of a somewhat top-down view. Of course they used the BioWare's Aurora engine at the time, the same engine they used for Neverwinter Nights. Now the developer said, 
you know what? It's time for us to make our own engine. You know what? It paid off big time. No wonder it won 50 awards. Yeah, seriously, it did. Now, combat is very simple. Just go on the menu like this. Hit one button for that or hit a certain keystroke and then boom. You have your shielding right there for Quinn. And if you also could quickly switch to other abilities, they also have different styles of attack too. And you can also quickly switch to your uh, swords too, which is uh, great. I mean, combat was vastly improved, so is movement in this game. I mean, there are so many improvements. They did a wonderful job. People love this game. So let's just talk about some uh, good things about this game. Now, overall, the story, like I said before, is great and wonderful. It gets you into it. You lose so many hours. Yeah, you will lose a whole bunch of hours because you're playing this great and wonderful game. Overall, this uh, game right here is one of the uh, best from the last generation of games here, which was great. It was one of the top tier ones. So you're thinking, okay, which one was a great start? Which or two, two was wonderful? Can it be topped? Well, guess what? We're going to talk about The Witcher 3. Now, let's talk about The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Let me tell everybody this right now. Oh boy, this game topped not only 1 and 2, it won over 250 awards. CD Projekt Red did a great job of, of releasing this game, developing it, and more. It was released in, like I said, for 2015 on the PC, Xbox One, and also for the first time on a PlayStation console, the PlayStation 4. Now, in 2019 of October, the Switch got its version of that, too. And let me tell you, it's great now. Pouring your characters over the story from 2 and 3 is obvious. Of course they did that if you have the pc version now other than that there were choices at the beginning of the game to emulate those things on the xbox one and also on the playstation 4 so if you uh wanted to just say play on the consoles instead of the pc this time well those choices were there just for you to pick except for the witcher one saves didn't happen you couldn't do that at all but still was two to three was great though so let's talk more about this game right here Oh boy, they did some great improvements. Walking around is much easier. Sprinting, you got roach to go around. Fast travels if you visit those signposts. Oh man, they did so much improvements to this game. You thought the one to two improvements were good? Oh man, they improved this game by a whole a lot. I do mean a lot of improvements to this game here. So let's talk about the next topic. Well, let me tell you about combat. Oh yeah, they definitely improve in that by ten folds. First of all, it's easier to access signs and items to use against enemies. Also, it's much, much easier switching between weapons. Also, easier to heal up too. Again, of course, you still gotta watch out for that toxicity level just like the other two games. And other than that, combat has majorly improved. Also, there's builds in the game that is really great. Now, for instance, I do have a Signs uh, build right here is more like signs damage I do than melee. Other than that, combat is uh, great. Besides your standard side quests and monster hunts in this game called Contracts, oh boy, they did a lot. Now, gone is arm wrestling and dice poker. What returns is fist fighting, and what is new is horse racing and Gwent. And let me tell you right now, the developers did a great job of spawning something that's very neat called Gwent. Now, Gwent object is to get more po points than your opponent, and best two out of three, you win. It's a really simple and fun game. It's also very addictive. You also need to collect cards. If you collect X amount of cards, it can help you actually win the game big time. Yeah, Gwent is down to a science too, and it's also very addictive. I kind of hope in season two we see some Gwent being played. Yeah, I mean, come on. Netflix, just get that Gwent going. Other than that, yeah, Gwent is very addictive, great, and wonderful. They even made their own uh, Witcher Gwent game out of it, which is neat. Also, out in the real world, there's a Gwent set of cards, too, so people can actually play it all over the world. So, overall, they did a great job of this game right here. My final thoughts about this uh, game right here, The Witcher 3. It won over 250 awards, so justly so. It's a great and wonderful game, and to me personally, it's the game of the generation. So, in final, The Witcher 1, even though it is PC exclusive, was the building blocks for the other two Witcher games, while the second game 
not only was released on the PC, also Xbox 360 and backwards compatible for the Xbox One. And also built up on many things besides its own engine and the story and more. While The Witcher 3 also not only released on the PC and the Xbox One, it was also released on the PlayStation 4 and the Switch later on. It done many and wonderful things. Seriously, it brought Gwent and more. Overall, you should definitely buy all three games. If you want to support the developers, CD Project Red, you should go to goodoldgames.com because you go over to that website there, 100% of the proceedings go to the developer. All three games are very neat. Only thing I do wish was that 1 and 2 was remade with the Witcher 3 engine, which is a very good and wonderful engine. So when you watch the Netflix series and you're waiting for season 2, well, go buy all three games. They're great and wonderful games. They're fun to play and very, very enjoyable. Well, that's it for my Why I Played the Witcher series while waiting for Season 2 of The Witcher Return to Netflix video. This is Lord Fenton signing off. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day or night.